As the best mom ever, I frequently check in with my son. He loves it. Most often, I'll just send him a short text just to say hi. Since I always hear back from him, I know he's okay. It's our simple way to keep in touch. Network Service Detection, NSD, works in a similar way to these text messages, but on a network. These messages detect WAN activity, making sure there is still a connection. This is performed with a ping test sent to a configured IP address. When NSD is configured on your router, you can ping an IP address repeatedly at regular intervals. If the ping fails, you can have it go to a failover backup interface with an internet connection. By enabling NSD on your RV340 series router, you can avoid interruptions to your network as long as you have an alternate working internet connectivity configured. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain how to configure NSD on an RV340 series router. To set up NSD, log into the user interface of the router, select WAN, and then click on Multi-WAN. Here, choose the WAN interface you want to edit. In this example, I'm going to choose WAN 1 by clicking the checkbox next to it, and then click the Edit icon. All you need to do here is enable network service detection. Once that's done, you can configure retry count. This is the number of times you want to ping the device. The retry timeout section is the number of seconds to wait between the pings. Basically, it helps to determine how long the device needs to wait to verify that the WAN connection has failed, so it can switch over to the second connection. For this example, I have used the default settings but you can reduce the retry timeout to make the failover faster. After that's configured, you can choose which destination you want to ping. You have the option to ping the default gateway, which is the WAN IP address provided by your internet service provider. But before setting that up, you should make sure the default gateway IP address is pingable, as sometimes internet service providers will disable the ability to ping their WAN IP. Alternatively, you can select the remote host option by selecting the checkbox next to it and enter the DNS server in the field provided. For this example, I'm going to enter the DNS server of Google, which is 8.8.8.8. And then all you must do is click apply at the top of the screen. Now, look at this visually with a network diagram. As you can see here, there is an RV340 series router going out to the internet ISP and a PC connected to the router. The WAN1 NSD has been configured on the router and it's going to try and ping the ISP gateway's IP address. If a reply is received after a ping, it's good to go. On the other hand, if it fails, then the router will wait for five seconds and will ping again. Five seconds is the retry timeout duration that was configured on the router. The ping attempts will continue until the number of retry counts are exhausted. If all attempts fail, and if you have an alternate internet connection, then the router will fail over to it so that you'll experience less downtime in your network. That's a relief, isn't it? And now for a recap to enable network service detection. First, log into your Cisco RV340 series router web interface. Select WAN and then Multi-WAN Options from the navigation pane. Third, choose the WAN interface and click Edit. Finally, enable Network Service Detection. For the Detect Destination field, select the Remote Host option. Save your configurations and you are set. Keeping your business online when there is a failure is important. NSD and a backup connection for failover will make that happen quickly and efficiently. It's all about good communication. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.